problem number 17 in this problem they have given a circuit where we have to find e1 e2 and i so they have also given the power dissipated in 5 ohm resistance that is 125 watt so using the uh, first law we can find that the current flowing through the 5 ohm resistance will be i plus 2.5 so this is i and this is 2.5 so this current will flow in the 5 ohm resistance so using Kirchhoff's second law that is voltage law uh, we will find the uh, e values so first for the loop a b c f a we will first find the loop so e1 minus 3i is equal to e2 minus 2 into 2.5 so we will get it as e1 minus e2 minus 3i is equal to so this will be a 5 so this will be first equation as given here next loop is f c d e f so we will again find the loop so e2 is equal to 2 into 2.5 plus so 5 into i plus 2.5 so this will be the second equation when we simplify this we will get 5 plus 5 i plus uh, we will get 12.5 uh, so sim further simplifying e2 will get 5i plus 17.5 so this is of second equation as given here so further they have given that the power across uh, through the 5 ohm resistance across 5 ohm resistance 125 so we know power formula vi we further simplify this we will get i square r so we know i is nothing but i plus 2.5 square and r is 5 so we know power 125 so when we send this to this side we will get i plus 2.5 which is on square we will get 125 divided by 5 is 25 so when we send the square root the other side that is 25 we'll get 5 so i is equal to 5 minus 2.5 so i is nothing but 2.5 amps so when we sub substitute this i value here this will become 7.5 and when this that goes that side will have so when we substitute another higher we'll get 12.5 which is nothing but e2 will become 30 as given here so once we get e2 30 we'll simplify this in the equation number one and we'll get e1 as 32.5 so final answer will be 30 32.5 volts 30 volts and i is 2.5 amps